Welcome to section 2 of this course, in which we will go through using UI Builder to create the actual layout and styles of interface components in a UI document. In this lecture, we will go through the organization of the UI Builder and create a first UI document. Let's first prepare a scene that we'll be using for our menu. By changing the name of a current simple scene to menu, and we can delete the directional light that is uh, already in the scene. Now let's create our first UI document by going into UI and selecting Create UI Toolkit UI Document. We can name it Main Menu Screen. And let's open it. UI Builder is where we will create and modify all UI documents, uh, that is all UXML files. It is divided into few sections and the first one in the left upper corner is the style sheet section. Here we will create and edit all the selectors of the UI, that is classes that contain different styles. It's gonna become much clearer later on when we will create our first UI element. The hierarchy is very similar to the hierarchy in the Unity editor. It contains different UI elements that are organized in a parent and child hierarchy. As an example, we can create a simple visual element and it's gonna appear in a hierarchy and we can add a button inside it and you can see that now button belongs to that visual element. Now in the bottom left corner there is a library of all the standard uh, controls like for example a button, a label, a visual element, it's a special element it's actually a container and it's the most generic and universal one. We'll be using it a lot later on. In the library we can also see files that are inside a project, like for example that particular UI document that we are editing right now, the main menu screen. Right in the middle there is a viewport that contains the canvas of our UI and this is an edit only tool so changing the size of it even though it changes how the UI elements look in that particular window it does not affect how the UI looks during runtime. It's only here for testing purposes so that we can see how UI is gonna look in different resolutions. And to the right we have an inspector so whenever we select the UI element, either in a hierarchy or inside a viewport, we'll see the list of properties listed in the inspector. We'll talk about it more later on when we move to creating our first button. For now I'll delete all these elements in a hierarchy so that we have a blank canvas. So to sum up, in this lecture, you have learned the organization of the UI Builder and we went through the process of building a first UI document, main menu screen.